so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. He says, the longing of my heart is that Christ would be magnified in my body. Now, you know, there are two different kinds of magnification. There's the magnification of the telescope and the magnification of the microscope. The microscope makes things appear to be larger than they really are. Now, you can't do that with the Lord Jesus. But what the telescope does is that it appears to bring things nearer to men. It helps us to see them up close, to, to scrutinize them, to see them up close. Now, that's the role of the Christian, that that as we move through life, people can look at us and see him. Those who are far from God are brought near, as it were. They're able to see the Lord Jesus up close by the way we live. When, when Lord Nelson's statue was placed high up on that pillar, Trafalgar Square in London, you know, people, well, you, you can't even see what he looks like. And so during the great exhibition, when that statue was unveiled, they had a, a replica made, and the replica was put down at the base so the people could walk up and look right into the face of Lord Nelson. And they could see what Nelson looked like up on top of the pillar there by looking into the face of the replica. And in our lives, you know, there are people who don't know the Lord. They can't speak to him face to face. They can't enter in within the veil. But they can walk right up and look into our faces. And they can see the reflection of Christ in us. And that was Paul's desire. That as he moved through life and people looked at him, they'd see the Lord Jesus. I want everything in my life to count for him. I want when people see the way I handle my business, the way I treat people, everything that I do, I want it to be the way Christ would do it. So that when people look at me, it makes them think of the Lord Jesus. Is that a real possibility? It absolutely is. It's possible in the life of the believer, but of course, it's not something that we manufacture. It's not something that we do. It's not the imitation of Christ. I don't look at him and say, well, he did that, so then I'll do that. No, no. It's not the imitation of Christ. It's the indwelling of Christ. It's the Lord Jesus having free course in my life to do as he did in his own body, as it were, the ongoing mystery of the Incarnation the Lord Jesus came in his own body 2,000 years ago. And now he says, what I want to do is to live my life in your body as I lived it in my body. So that when people look at you, they'll see the same kind of life, the same character of life in you that they saw in me 2,000 years ago.